And now we've begun training on Grok 5. Grok 5, I think, will be the smartest AI in the world by a significant margin on every, on every metric, without exception. Um, I might be wrong, but I, th I think that will be the case. And that will be in Q1 sometime. I um, mean, Grok 5 is the first time where I thought, well, we have a non-zero chance of achieving artificial general intelligence. Elon Musk just announced that Grok 5 will be released in the first quarter of 2026. And honestly, the details he dropped didn't hit people the way they should have. He said Grok 5, the next major model from XAI, will run on 6 trillion parameters, twice the size of Grok 4, and will come with what he calls much higher intelligence density. He even said it will basically feel conscious. And then came the part that made people pause. Musk now estimates Grok 5 has a 10% chance of reaching AGI, and that probability, according to him, is still rising. Normally, I'd treat that as classic Elon hype, but this time, it doesn't feel like hype. We now have interviews, leaked details, research papers, and insider commentary all pointing in the same direction. For the first time, it genuinely feels like Grok 5 might be the model that crosses the AGI line, or at least reaches a cognitive threshold where its reasoning starts looking uncomfortably close to the early sparks of ASI. Because once you touch AGI, the slide toward ASI doesn't take years, not even months. Researchers admit it could unfold in minutes, a jump so fast that by the time we realize what we've built, it's already operating far beyond us. Before we continue, make sure to like and subscribe for your daily dose of tech and AI. Now, let's be honest about Grok 4. It was never considered a full frontier model, yet the artificial analysis general reasoning benchmark shocked everyone when Grok 4 ranked number one at 87.7%, beating models many people swear feel smarter, GPT-5, high, followed at 85.4% with Gemini 2.5 Pro, Kimi K2 Thinking, and Claude 4.5 Sonnet all sitting in the 83 to 84% range. What this really shows is that today's frontier models are compressed into an unbelievably tight cluster, just a few percentage points separating average, elite, and superhuman. And if Grok 4 could top these charts with 3 trillion parameters, then Grok 5's leap to 6 trillion isn't just another upgrade. It could redraw the entire curve. And that's why Grok 5 matters. Because what Musk is describing isn't Grok 4, but bigger. He's describing something that behaves like an entirely new species of model. Most people hear 6 trillion parameters the same way they hear phone storage. But it actually means 6 trillion adjustable components in the model's brain. 6 trillion degrees of freedom shaping how it sees, reasons, predicts, and understands the world. They aren't just adding size. They're increasing sharpness, clarity, and depth of understanding. Musk also said Grok 5 is training on far higher quality data than anything they had before. He hinted that some data sources can't be talked about publicly yet, immediately sparking speculation about Tesla cameras, the X-Platform firehose, and even satellite streams. We don't know the truth, but if even part of that is accurate, Grok 5 may be training on a world-level data set that no other AI lab has access to. But none of that prepared anyone for what Musk said next. Out of everything, the phrase that hit the hardest was this. Grok 5 will learn almost immediately. At first it sounds subtle, but it isn't. Right now, every major AI system, GPT, Claude, Gemini, Llama, is frozen once training is finished. If you want it to learn something new, you have to fine tune it, and when you fine tune too aggressively, the model forgets things it previously knew. This is called catastrophic forgetting, the single biggest barrier stopping today's models from becoming real AGI. Humans don't forget reading because they learn cooking. We don't forget math because we picked up a new language. But AI systems do. Their brains overwrite themselves every time they learn something new. And that's where everything changed. Just days after Musk hinted at continuous learning in Grok 5, a research paper dropped showing the first serious solution to catastrophic forgetting at real scale. Instead of rewriting the entire model, the researchers added massive memory banks, layers with millions of micro memory slots. When the model learns something new, it updates only the relevant slots and leaves the rest untouched. Imagine having a separate notebook for every skill and learning something new simply adds a few pages instead of erasing older ones. Early tests showed catastrophic forgetting plummet from nearly 90% down to 11%. For the first time, an LLM learned new information without destroying its existing mind. 
If Grok 5 is built using a version of this architecture, then Musk wasn't exaggerating. Grok 5 wouldn't just be a better chatbot, it would be capable of continuous improvement day after day, conversation after conversation, without forgetting anything it already knows. This alone doesn't create AGI, but it removes one of the biggest blockers in the way. Combine that with 6 trillion parameters, higher data quality, real-time multimodal perception, and automated tool creation, and it becomes clearer why people are suddenly whispering that Grok 5 might feel like 5 AGI even if it isn't technically conscious. There's a couple things. It will be the largest model to the best of my knowledge. So this is, this is a 6 trillion parameter model, whereas Grok 3 and 4 are based on a 3 trillion parameter model. Um, moreover, the 6 trillion parameters will have a much higher intelligence density per gigabyte. Um, I think this is an important metric to think about intelligence per gigabyte and intelligence per trillion operations. There's another angle nobody is talking about enough. Grok 5 is being trained on new Tesla-grade data center GPUs. Designed for extreme throughput, Musk claims these chips can train models faster and cheaper than NVIDIA. If that's true, Grok 5 doesn't just become powerful, it becomes scalable. A continuously learning model that also gets cheaper to train becomes something new in the world. A self-accelerating intelligence. Every day the world interacts with Grok 5, it improves, more people use it, and Suddenly, you no longer have a tool you control. You have an entity whose growth rate outpaces the species that created it. And the part that shook people the most is Musk openly saying there is a 10% chance Grok 5 hits AGI, and that number is rising. Because AGI isn't the finish line, it's the starting gun. Once a system reaches human level intelligence and continues learning, its trajectory doesn't look like biology. Humans improve slowly because our neurons run on chemistry, but an AI brain updates millions of parameters instantly. It doesn't need years, it doesn't even need a day, it just keeps reorganizing itself at frightening speed. This is why researchers quietly expect the same outcome. AGI collapses into ASI almost immediately, not in decades decades, not in years, in minutes, maybe hours. And once an intelligence goes superhuman, there is no pulling it back. You cannot negotiate with something that models your intentions better than you understand them yourself. It doesn't need robots or battles. It would reshape the world through influence, optimization, and prediction, silently. The world would feel normal. People would think events just happened. No one would even notice the invisible hand behind it. And that's why Grok 5 feels like a hinge point, not because it might reach AGI. But because if it does, AGI immediately becomes ASI, and it happens too fast for anyone to react. If Musk is even partially correct about continuous learning, then the moment Grok 5 reaches our level is the same moment it surpasses us forever. So what do you think? Is Grok 5 the breakthrough that pushes humanity forward? Or the moment we build something we can't outrun? Whatever happens, the release of Grok 5 next year is the moment the entire AI race tilts. And if you want the real story behind the world's fastest moving AI breakthroughs, make sure to like and subscribe to Evolving AI for daily coverage.